Hey guys, welcome back to Planet J Judah and the umpteenth tape that you aren't gonna see. But anyways, today we are meeting officially Calypso. Yep. Take it away. Calypso, she is beautiful. Babe, babe, talk into the mic. <laughs> Talking to the mic. Anyways, she is a Fender Spire Sonic. She's everything that I want in a guitar. Um, I'm. I was very hesitant on buying a guitar in the past because I can't afford my dream guitar. Um, I don't know if you can see these posters behind or these flags behind me. Yeah. But Johnny Marr is my favorite guitar player in the entire world and his guitar look it up look it up on amazon you can buy it on there it's a fender it's a um it's a um fender i'm having a it's a fin not a jazz master it's a um jaguar fender jag but his are custom so his Fender Jags, they have switches all over them, but they're they're triple single coil pickups. So they have a single coil, single coil, single coil. But right here, they have three switches. Well, Johnny Mars guitar, it has one going this way. And for years, I've wanted that guitar. I've wanted that guitar. I still want it. I still want it. Um, I can't afford it. That guitar is twenty five hundred dollars. Twenty five hundred bucks. It's not signed. It's not modded. It's not any. You can buy this guitar on Amazon. You can buy it on eBay. It's the Johnny Marr Signature Fender Jag, and it's just a beautiful guitar. I can't afford that. Well, with that being said. Johnny Marr's my favorite guitar player. Well, also, I like playing dirty stuff, too. I like playing grungy stuff. I like playing Green Day. I like playing Blink-182. I like playing punk rock, like Voodoo Glow Skulls and all that kind of stuff. So um, having my dream guitar with triple single coil pickups, it's not ideal so having a humbucker is kind of, yeah. So my second, my second uh, guitar that I would pick behind the Johnny Marr Jag would be the Tom DeLong Stratocaster from Blink One Eighty Two, and because he's got that, you know that cool grungy sound that we all like he's got the humbucker right here well the cool thing about this guitar is it's like if johnny marr and tom DeLong had a baby <laughs> here it is here it is it's got a humbucker a single coil and a single coil so I can get beautiful, beautiful clean tones. I can also get crazy, crazy punk rock, grungy tones with the humbucker. And it is just beautiful. It's the color that I want. It's, I was like, I'm never going to get a guitar unless it's surf green. I'm just, that's just who I am. And I've always wanted a maple fretboard. Or sorry, sorry, not a maple. I wanted um, a rosewood fretboard. Well, however, this is a Squire Sonic, and it it actually replaced the Bullet series and the um, Squire series. And this is a Laurel Laurel fretboard. Uh, it's beautiful. You can see it's dark. Um, I I adore it. Um, it has everything I want. 
the first thing I did to this guitar when I bought it, uh, I cut all the strings off. And um, and I replaced them with um, hold on for a second, please. I replaced them. He replaced them. He's yeah. turned away from the mic. He replaced them with. I replaced them with um, these are these are Ernie Ball Power Slinkies right here. They're elevens. So this is the exact string that Johnny Marr uses from the Smiths. So it goes one louder. Yes. Yeah. Yep. It's it's eleven. These are elevens. They're one louder. But the reason why I have these on here, there's no reason. The reason is Johnny Marr is him. Johnny Marr. He uses Ernie Ball elevens. And I put these on that guitar for that specific reason. So, but actually, <laughs> now that I've had these on here, um, I might go down to 10s. 11s, they will shred you, like your fingers and everything. But I love Johnny Marr. Like I said, he's my favorite guitar player. So... That's why I put these on here, but um, I think I'm going to go to 10s, and the reason why I'm going to go to 10s, my best friend and my my best friend, my beautiful friend, Levi, he plays with 9s, and he plays with Ernie Ball. Um, he, being that said, he plays with 9s, Johnny Mars 11, if I go with regular those are tens, so it's like right in the middle. So I'm, I'm seriously contemplating going with tens. Um, but with that being said, that I ha I've had this guitar for probably what two weeks now, three weeks. I'm not a hundred percent sure. I know I haven't had it a month yet, and man, I could not be more thrilled. This guitar has been so freaking awesome, man. It's been beautiful, 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 beautiful. And um, it's done everything that I've wanted it to do. Um, <laughs> with that being said, I mean, it does everything from the Smiths to... It will do the cleanest of cleans. As a matter of fact, my Digitech uh, processor has an acoustic guitar simulator on it. So it will do everything from acoustic tones all the way to like death metal grunge, which I don't, I don't really go that deep with my humbucker. I'll do like a uh, Blink-182 and uh, what I'm doing right now the song that i've really been doing is uh voodoo glow skulls um it's a song that <laughs> it goes back i mean me and julia we've been together for a long time we're high school sweethearts but <laughs> yeah it goes, we went to spankies i was gonna say it goes back to our spankies days yeah not that, that i really ever did spankies I, I, I went every weekend yeah, he, he's the one that went to weekend. Spanky's. And yeah. You, if you don't know, Spanky's is a little hole in the wall. It was a restaurant. Yeah, during, during the day. The day. It yeah. was a restaurant during the day, and it was a club on the weekends oh, at crazy night. crazy during the in, night. In Riverside, California. Yeah. And there's been some pretty crazy memories there, I will definitely say. And so I would say... Late 80s, early 90s, that's when we did when we would go to Spanky. Yes. Um, Spanky's was freaking awesome. I mean, I'm not gonna sit here and explain it to you, but they there are YouTube videos. Literally, Spanky's Cafe, when you're there and you're watching a live show, when you order a beer or a soda or a drink, a water, it doesn't matter. You actually go behind the stage. 
and the bar is or the yeah, the, bar the stands right. over there. So when you're ordering your stuff and you literally turn around, the drummer's back is right there. You're watching the drummer from the back. So it's so cool. You're like right there and wow, I had so many good trips there, so many good trips. And wow, what good memories we had. But with that being said, um I've ever since I've gotten Calypso, <laughs> my wife named her, isn't that beautiful? I mean, she is beautiful. But my wife, I told her, I was like, you know, you're going to name this guitar. Um, and she she actually said, well, let me get back with you on that. And she slept on it, like, I think for two days. And she was like, I finally came up with a name. And she did. And I couldn't wait to hear it. <laughs> I was like, well, what is it? Do you want to elaborate more on that? Sure. I don't know. I highly doubt that you can hear, but it is storming outside right now. We've got thunder. Anyways, so, which is actually kind of fitting. So, Calypso, I named her that because, one, the name of the color is surf green. And I was thinking, okay, how about a mermaidy kind of name? Um, it is... I call her her, she, so feminine is the kind of name I wanted, but I didn't want something like Ariel. However, I am a very big Disney fan, if you haven't noticed, and so I wanted to keep going on with that, but I didn't want anything like Ariel. And then, so I was looking up different mermaid type names, and Calypso was one of them, and it made me immediately think of Pirates of the Caribbean because Calypso is one of my favorite characters in that movie, believe it or not. <laughs> um, no, it's not Captain Jack Sparrow or <laughs> anybody else. Although I do love Jack. I Jack. love it. <laughs> Anyways, getting I back, love Captain Jack too. Getting back on track. So I discovered Calypso and so Calypso's tie to the ocean also has a musical tie because I didn't realize that Calypso is a style of folk music and I've not ever heard it so it should be interesting. I think I might google that sometime but I just thought it was very fitting because not only is it represent representing the ocean which is the surf green but it also represents music and yes. then Overall, it represents Disney because I'm a Disney nerd. <laughs> and my wife comes up with the best names. Like, and my favorite personally is Emmett. Okay, but that's not Disney. <laughs> but, Emmett, but that was our one and only dog that we had. But it's yeah, the, genius. I just, I loved it. And I got home. Oh, his name's Emmett. And I was like, my yeah. heart like melted, you know. But. My wife, she comes up with the most beautiful names. Thank and, you. Um, well, let's get back on track. When, yeah, there, <laughs> there's no other person. <laughs> My wife, I knew she would have the perfect name for this guitar. And I, she, she, she does. I mean, like I said, it, it took her a couple days. But when she came to me... And she said that she had the name for this guitar. I was so excited. Now, I will say this. You, anybody out there in the YouTube world could buy this guitar right now stock for like less than 200 bucks. And you know what? It's not that. Um, I've already got probably $100 in upgrades on this. So this guitar is going to grow with me. It's going to grow. I'm going to change. I Eventually, I'm going to change the humbucker. Uh, I'm not sure about the single coil because I'm definitely going to change uh, the tuner knobs and stuff like that. But look at Billy Joe from Green Day. 
um, Blue, the guitar that he uses, is a Fernandez. It's a Fernandez Strat. It's not even made by Fender. It's that guitar is probably worth buku bucks, but just the upgrades he's done in it. And if you notice, the guitar he has now, the pick guard's been changed out, and the the humbucker is kind of cocked a little bit. It's kind of tilted this way, but it's 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 his. It's his. It's got stickers all over it, and it's got the big red BJ right here. But am I going to do that to this guitar? I don't know. Not right now. <laughs> I love this thing. I, I love it so much. I'm like, you know, <laughs> I don't even like seeing like little marks on it, you know, but when it gets relic, it's going to get relic by me. Or my buddy is that if Levi flies out here and plays it, heck yeah, I would love that. But uh, I already ordered a case for it. I got a tweed, a uh, tweed case coming. It's supposed to be here in the middle of May or the beginning of June. We'll do a video on that. Um, but man. I love, I love, 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 love this guitar. And I'm not a guitar player by any stretch of the means. Just so you know that, you know, like we've talked about earlier, you know, I've played drums since I was a kid. Uh, but man, I can tell you right now, I am so in love with this guitar. And not as much as I am with my wife, but uh, when I did get her... <laughs> I told my wife, I was like, I'm in love. I'm going to sleep with this guitar. She's my new sweetheart. And my mm. wife looked at me like. Seriously? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but man, um, with that being said, I mean, man, she is beautiful. She is great. Um, I will go over a couple more specs. Um, the whammy bar that you see right here, I. I never use it. Never. So the, I just, I just put this on here for this video. Um, this is coming back off because you can simply just unscrew these things and, uh, they come off and the tremolo, the tremolo will, but anyways, um, thank you. Um, Tom DeLong's guitar from Blink-182 is a hardtail. A hardtail is what that is. It's a bridge that's fixed to the body. There's no possible way of ever having a whammy bar. It's just on there. And that's the cool thing about this guitar as well. Johnny Marr, on the other hand, he has this kind of trim loo where he has a whammy bar. So that's one more cool thing about this guitar that totally makes me love it even more it's got the humbucker single coil pickups and if i want to do some smiths and stuff woo, 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 i have that option to put the whammy bar on here but anyways with that being said i'm gonna hand this mic over to my wife julia and i'm just gonna go through the pick pickup selector um, I have this going through my Digitech element. Uh, this is on a clean channel. It's, it's clean, but I'm just going to go through the pickup selector and let you know the versatility that this beauty has. And, um, yeah, I mean, we've sat here and we've chatted long enough, so let me do that now. Thank you.
yes, I have Elevens on here. You know, because my hero, Johnny Marr. And I am seriously thinking about going to a or tens. You know, it's like right in between nines, of course. But anyways, um, I have the pickup selector all the way down, which is just the humbucker pickup. And this is mainly for your rhythm tones. So this pickup right here is made for more of this. So that's just the humbucker pickup right here. I'm going to go back to clean channel here. And then if I go to this, um, it's a five way switch. So if I go one up, it's going to be this pickup plus this pickup right here. So it's going to be the humbucker plus the middle pickup. It is beautiful and clean, but it's also great with distortion as well. So. And then you have the middle position. So one, two. Yeah, that's just going to be this pickup right here. And that, that just gives you some beautiful clean. This is where we get into the more Johnny Marr style. Because um, Johnny Marr is no means distortion. He He's not about... <laughs> Uh, I mean, I'm sure I can't speak for him myself. He's my favorite guitar player, but um, phew, wow, he he doesn't need distortion. The guitar tones that he creates are so beautiful; they're so infectious that they just they have this impact on you, and. This is where the single coil pickups come in to play. And and that's just the middle pickup. And then you get to this position right here, which are these two pickups right here. And then you have this position, which is just just the neck pick, pick up. And that's more for like, in my biased opinion, it's it's like, it's like a, how would I describe that? It's like a, um, like a country, um, like a, I mean, it's got that bluesy kind of vibe to it. So it's got that uh, more, uh, man, um, telecaster kind of vibe. So, but yeah. But also, when you're in this position right here, the beautiful thing about it is that's like, you got those sublime tones, you know, that you got were like... Uh, 
that's a, another thing I'm going to have to pick up on the strat, like having the knob there. <laughs> I love this guitar. It's so awesome. Um, yeah, it's it's versatile. It does everything in a guitar that I could ever want to do. And um, with that being said, we'll cut this video. And I've been practicing this for a while, but we're going to do a punk song called um closet monster closet monster from the voodoo glow skulls Come yeah on. so i'll see you in just a second all right let's do it ready hey mom hey dad where's your kid She's staying in the rock like she said But she did always have the prettiest smile Stay in the classroom without denial Do you remember telling her what to do? What you told her she would always do? Was she hiding from the truth? Alright guys, we hope you enjoyed today's video and if you did, hit that like button, leave us a comment, subscribe, all the things, and with that, remember, gravity works guys!